Blake Hudson at the helm. Say hello to the fans. Blake. Hello there. Is Darwin disappearing? Darwin City. The whole show. The dinghy. Here's our wire, a bird nest. Bird netting or whatever you call it here. A bit of safety netting. Australian flag. Of course. Lake of the Helm. We're motoring out now, we'll put up the sails in a minute. If anyone wants to know, I'm Captain Rockin, Rocket, Captain Rocket, and that's my second in command, Lake Hudson at the helm. So I just will show you around a little. This is bow. The bow is commonly referred to as the the nose on the boat. There's a couple of boats about. Fire over there. Big boat over there. Sailboat. Customs going to probably check us out. I doubt it. All right. So we're about to uh, set the sails and go out. So. G'day. Welcome to the wonderful world of yachting. I'm Captain Rocket. Your captain. This is extreme boating. We're heading across the Anbon. There's a, some waves. We're doing around six to nine knots on an average. It goes up and down a bit. This is what the sea state's like out here. We are running on the head sail. The main sails been very roughly furled as you can see. This is my shade, shade accommodation. Sea state, 10 to 15 knot winds. Uh, we had absolutely no winds when we left Darwin but we, we got plenty of winds now.
got day six, day seven. Man, it's been so epic. The ride over from Australia to Indo, mate. We were losing our shit. And wanted to go home. I'm going to go Beautiful and flat and, and calm, yeah. It wasn't chaos, absolute storm chasing chaos all night. <laughs> but now it's just calm all, all the time. Still went in the wind, the wind hasn't really picked up all through the doldrums. Fix the engine today, see the grease in the face. Well, here we are in the Malacan Sea. We're calmed again. Got a cup of coffee. Just had uh, savory biscuits, salada. Malacan Sea in the doldrums. We did a good day on the spinnaker. Average of 40 nautical miles. But we've come to a stop now. And we're just sort of drifting with the current, with the headsail boomed out. Not getting very far, very fast, but anyway, that's the way, way of the west in these latitudes. So, there we go. The Basilon Strait. Basilon Strait is Blake. Basilon Strait. We're going through there, and then we'll come on to the Siouxland Sea on the last last leg of our trip into Monbron. Little fishing boats all over the joint. We just spent a whole night motoring again. Engine oil was low. Gearbox was good. Yeah, it's all good anyway. We've got 160 nautical miles to go before we get into Bonbaron. Seven o'clock in the morning. I just did my engineer's thing. And we're laughing. Generator, we have to use that. Charge batteries. So I uh, ran two, two lots of fuel through that last night. Charge up the batteries for overnight. And here we had lots of battery power. This morning we still got a fair bit, but they all seem to have little canoes. Now we are outriggers on these little suckers. They look very dark skinned too. This is where all the pirates are supposed to hang out. Pirates. Got a very little breeze. Hoping to pick some up offshore. It'll head us straight up home. To the sail on in. Sail on in where we want to go and I want to have a beer. Good morning. Uh, it's been a long grey night. Been cruising along about seven knots. Stormy, scary. Boats, little boats.
boats all over the joint. But we got through another night. <coughs> course, 3.30, the boat's a fucking mess. It's difficult. You just drive, all you can do is just hang on. Hang on to the tiller with two hands. But the morning's come, Blake's asleep, computer's on. There's our track down there. But you can see it. Oh, we got a bit of a smoker. Mighty Saxon flying a hull. Not really its top speed, but I don't really think it's got a top speed. 40 knot winds, uh, the swells are really flat, and the thing just fucking flies. Glad to get there in a way, but I won't be in another way. This is very tiring. This we had three days off. Grand Santos, General Santos. Well, we met some lovely people. Helped us all out. We went to dinner and everything. Let's fly in a hole. There you go. Oh. That's water near the camera. Open ocean. Razor blade. Razor blade. Three big razor blades. That's what the effect of water on the hull does. When it's 40 knot winds, it just goes bang, 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 bang. Is on the slides on the on the main sail. I got to fix that. So about. Trailing the fishing line out there. Been trailing the fishing line several times with no avail. Open water adventure. In the plate. Open water adventure. Another glorious day in the Philippine waters. Philippine waters. There's a lot of shit in the water, I tell you. Plastic bottles, papers, plastic bags, mattresses. You name it, it's in there. 
it's just everywhere. This seems to be a big dumping yard for all this shit. Anyway, one day everybody will wake up and it'll be too late. This is about as extreme as you're going to see. It's not as extreme as we've had, but... Pretty good. Got about 11 knots at the moment. 11 knots? 11 knots.
just struck the reef with the rudder. We'll strike a more reef. Not good. Well, with any luck we've made it. Oh fuck. That was not good. Couldn't have been good. Oh. Oh. That's agony. That way, son. I don't know. That may be that way. Yeah. Mighty Saxon, she struck the reef. Let's hope there's no rudder damage. Doesn't sound real nice. Good. Anyway, Bon Barong Harbour. We're in here. Bon Barong. Philippines. On Bron. Saxons hit the bottom again. <laughs>